Good evening once again. I'm Keith Ranford. One of Western New York's biggest construction companies is being taken to court now by a former employee. An investigator with New York's Division of Human Rights says it's likely that some top brass may have acted in a racist manner. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter is digging into the evidence for us tonight. Three months after leaving his job with Gypsum Systems last May, Carlo Hines lawyered up. The racism was always there um, from when I initially started and honestly it got worse over time. Hines was working as a carpenter for the company for two years. His legal complaint says he was paid a lower salary than his white counterparts and not offered the same opportunities to advance. An investigator with New York State's Division of Human Rights found Gypsum Systems hired black employees at a cheaper wage for that job. This all came from information from the company's own records. Hines' complaints came even before he alleges the remarks started from his managers. From job to job, I began to see that it wasn't only just the two foremen that I had at that one job, but there was also racism coming from the superintendent, racism coming from the owners, and it seemed like a company-wide thing. Hines turned over seven recordings to state investigators, including one where a company superintendent can be heard calling another black employee who complained about racism a thug and saying, quote, everyone is a little bit racist. What he was trying to do is convince me to believe that everyone is racist. And um, for me to be experiencing racism is no big deal because everybody's racist. Gypsum confirmed in its legal response that encounter did happen along with several others, but denies they were intended to be racist. Hines credits that admission to his recordings. And so I just knew that the moment I spoke up against this, I would need, they would try to discredit what I was saying and um, make it seem as though I was making this all up. So I wanted to have hardcore evidence um, backing me up when I went and made all the statements uh, and eventually took it to the ownership. Gypsum Systems does work for some of the most prominent companies across western New York, including ECMC, Shays, The Sabres, and Delaware North. Hines' attorney, Lindy Corrin, represents many high-profile discrimination cases, but she says this one is particularly egregious. There are upstanders and bystanders. Most people are bystanders, and many because they need a paycheck. Carlo Hines is smart, respectable, makes a very good witness. A jury would like him and believe him. As for Hines, he says at this point, he just wants to see those that come after him not have the same experiences. No, this have not only happened to me, but it happened to other minorities there. Um, so I just want to see change happen and I want to see what I see as a wrong situation corrected. We tried for numerous weeks to get a response from Gypsum Systems. We reached out to its president via call, text and email. All of those went unanswered. Reporting in the town of Elma, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.